Thanks so much for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. After cloudy skies and some snow for much of the day, we've quickly transitioned to some sun. That sun setting here in just a little while. It's 13, feels more like minus 3. Winds out of the north at 15, 12 degrees. Over in Moorhead, 9 in Langdon and Cavalier, 7 in Devil's Lake, 15 Bemidji, 14 Wadena, also 14 in the Wapaton Breckenridge area. Winds generally out of the north around 5 to 15 miles per hour, some occasional stronger gusts. They'll stay similar to that tonight and then increase as we head through the weekend, particularly on Sunday. Looks like a rather windy day. Could see some problems with some blowing snow, especially in the Devil's Lake Basin down towards the James River Valley. Right now, wind chills as cold as 5 below in Grand Forks, Devil's Lake, and Jamestown. They get even colder as temperatures drop tonight. We continue to see those gusty winds. Cloud cover, most of the thicker clouds continue to slide on off towards the east. Lots of sunshine in our area, but a few more clouds moving on in. We'll see some partly cloudy skies as we head through the overnight hours. Most of the snow well off towards the east. I suspect there's still some flakes falling in parts of Lakes Country, and that will be ending here in the next couple of hours. Steadier snow down towards the Minneapolis area and points off towards the south. Rochester seeing some snow, as is much of the state of Wisconsin. Off towards the west, a little bit of rain in the lower elevations, snow in the higher elevations, and some rain with a little bit of ice in parts of Pennsylvania and West Virginia. For us, snow gets on out of here. Overnight tonight, we'll see the decreasing clouds for a while and then more cloudiness as we head through the overnight hours. Overnight lows dipping down single digits below zero, and even some teens below zero in our far northwestern counties. That's where we'll see the coldest of wind chills getting down to oh, 25 to 35 below elsewhere, about 15 to 25 below. As we head through the day tomorrow, some partly to mostly cloudy skies with maybe a few less clouds late in the day, and we're barely going to get above freezing for a couple of hours, or above zero, I should say, and then start to go the wrong direction. Look how cold it is by tomorrow night. At 10 o'clock, a very cold night shaping up for tomorrow night. For tonight, though, wind chill advisory for our northern counties. And again, that for wind chills is cold. That's 25 to 35 below. They'll be even colder tomorrow night and into Sunday morning. Minus 7 here in Fargo to start off your Saturday with those wind chills around 20 to 25 below. 2 for lunchtime and 5 later on in the day. It's going to feel much cooler than that with breezy conditions. Picture of the day, a winter wonderland in Enderlin. Thanks so much to Brittany for sending this in. Going to use it as the backdrop to our seven-day forecast. And it's a cold weekend, five with breezy conditions Saturday. Sunday, not even going to get above zero. Saturday night into Sunday morning, parts of the area could see wind chills as cold as 40 to 50 below zero. Dangerous cold, but, but... <laughs> <laughs> then we start to go the right direction as we head through the week. Nine on Monday with a chance for a few snow showers. Better chance for snow the way it's looking right now for the Southern Valley Thursday. But look at the temperatures. Yes. Low 20. That's still well below normal, but low 20s by Thursday and Friday. And yeah. looking at the long-term models, mm -hmm. there are hints that we may finally start to get into uh. a warmer weather pattern. Hints. Okay. It's not set in stone. Okay. We'll take hints. That but works. Hope. Yes. Let's, let's keep hoping. Yeah. Hope and is praying. Yeah. Because you nailed it when you said we're going in the wrong direction. Now we're going yeah. in the right direction. There you go. Thanks, yeah. Robert. You got it.